everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lab Press at Home. If you've been following along with our at home series, you've seen us make greeting cards, pop up cards, and postcards. So naturally, now it's time to make envelopes. So today we're going to be making simple envelopes. Here's some examples of envelopes that were made. This one was made with wrapping paper. This was made with cardstock and paint, or some acrylic paint. This one was made with um, an old atlas. And then we used the stamps from the carving rubber stamps video to add a little embellishment. Another one made with atlas paper and then some ink rolled onto it. And then one that has a little message on the back that says. So if you're ready to make envelopes, let's go ahead and get started. The supplies you'll need to make your envelope are a glue stick or glue, scissors, scrap paper, and the paper that you're going to use for your envelope. So I've chosen to use um, a piece of paper from an old atlas to make my envelope. And what I did here is I rolled a little um, ink on here just to give it a little more texture, a little more pattern. And I trimmed the page down to seven and a half by seven and a half inches. You can make it eight and a half by eight and a half, especially if you're just using um, printer paper. Um, whatever size you choose to do, just make sure that it's a, a square. So what you'll do is you'll take your, your paper and you're gonna fold it on a diagonal, corner to corner, and you're just gonna give it a little pinch just so that it marks the center of your envelope. And this is important um, for you to decide, especially if you put a pattern on your paper, um, which side is going to be the outside of your envelope. So I have a little crease here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the midpoint. And so what I'll do and what you'll do is you're gonna fold the sides in to that, meet, to that midpoint. And you're gonna do that on both sides. And you can use a bone folder, you can use something to flatten it out. But if your paper is thin enough and this is thin enough, you can just use your finger so that it gets a good crease. And with that, let's go ahead and fold up the bottom. I don't know that you need a, a magical measurement to fold up. Just make sure that it'll give you enough space to put in your card or your little note, whatever you're, you plan to place inside of your envelope. And make sure that you crease it really well because these are the edges that we're going to be trimming off. And you do the same to the top. Good crease. So there we go. It already looks like an envelope. Go ahead and open it up. And then these little diagonal triangles that you get from, from the folds, you're gonna go ahead and cut those out. you'll end up with something that looks like this. What you're going to do now 
is you're going to fold in the sides of your envelope and the bottom part. And this little tag here that's hanging out, you can just fold that back a little, make a crease, and then just trim it off. I think that's the easiest way to deal with that. So there you go. So it'll your envelope will look like this. You're gonna take your scrap piece of paper and glue. Just glue your sides. This bottom, the bottom flap. Oops. I have a little bit too much right there. Just go ahead and make sure that it's secure. And there you go. That's it. You have an envelope. Once you have your item inside and you're ready to mail it um, or to seal it, you can just go ahead and put glue along the edge and then seal it. And there you have one of the simplest ways to make an envelope. There's a few more that, that were made. This one was made with a little stencil. This was made out of scrapbook paper. This one was made with cardstock and some rolled on ink. This one already has a, a little card in it. If you remember this card from the rubber stamps video fits nicely in there. There you go. Now you're all set. Go ahead and make some envelopes, decorate them, make them unique. And I'm sure whoever is going to receive it will love it. Have fun. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. And if you make any of the projects from Lab Press at Home, please be sure to give us a tag um, so that we can see what you're creating. Thanks. Bye.